Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of January 2024. I hope everybody is doing well. I do want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer sign out there, so definitely check your other signs and placements and see if those readings may resonate better. It's always a good idea to do that anyway, guys, because you could find additional messages or you could find clarification, even if this does resonate with you. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that is not unusual in a general reading. And as always, guys, don't try to force yourself into a reading that's just simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Cancer? Cancer. All right, you guys are starting out with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so your money's looking good. I do feel like you're bossing up um, with regard to money and your, uh, however you earn your money. So that's really nice to see. You could have an unexpected influx of money as well. Some of you are choosing to pour your energy into, you know, work or, you know, however you make your money and you're kind of sidestepping the whole love thing right now. Um, I am seeing for others of you that you do have this stable new beginning here, but it, it's after either feeling rejected by somebody or rejecting someone else because you do have a very committed energy. I do see you really, you know, taking care of self. I feel like you're prioritizing yourself and, you know, your your money is looking good. So, let's see who's in your energy. Show me who's in Cancer's energy. All right. So, the person in your energy has the King of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Moon and the Seven of Cups. So this person has options. I do feel like they're kind of looking at all their options. Um, this person is actually the perfect mate for you, the perfect person for you, but the two of you are just simply not on the same page. It could be because this person um, is, you know, not committed to, you know, they, they have commitment issues. Financial issues could be the problem. Um, this person thinks about you a lot, particularly at night. They may even dream about you. Um, I do feel like this person is very secretive. They keep a lot of secrets. They keep things to themselves. They're not, you know, trying to share a lot of information. Um, I do feel like there is some confusion as well. And so they may not really know what it is that they want. That could be what's putting you on, you know, differing um, wavelengths here vibrationally. But I can see that this person could be the perfect mate for you. However, it also appears that you've either turned them down in love or you feel that they've turned you down in love. So let's, um, let's see the energy between the two of you. Three of Cups reversed. Scorpio had this card in the same position. So if you have Scorpio in your chart or if you are dealing with a Scorpio, you might want to look at that, uh, that reading. Now, I do see for some of you here, um, you may have turned this person down for a reconciliation. And they're feeling that loss. They're not going to tell you, but they're feeling that loss. Or it could be that this person has commitment issues and they turned you down. But there's something has gone down between the two of you that is keeping you um, on, on different wavelengths and not committed to each other. Let's see what's affecting this connection. And I see that you're both unhappy about the way things have kind of rolled out between the two of you as well. All right, so we have the Six of Cups. It's definitely somebody from your past. So what's affecting the connection is that you've walked away from this person. You've walked away from your past. And this person um, is still dreaming about you, still thinking about you. Um but it doesn't look like they're taking action towards you. And some of you guys have a new relationship now. Let's see your outcome at the end of the week. Page of Wands and the Death card in reverse. Yeah, this person's still holding on to your energy here. They have other options. Um, 
However, they are realizing that not all of these options will work for them. I do feel like there is a um, energy, there could be some communication between the two of you. There could be some flirtation of some sort, um, but I'm also seeing that, and, and I have to be honest with you, um, Cancer, because you know I'm going to call a spade a spade. I do see that if you communicate with this person, it might be a little bit on the flirtatious side or it could be a little bit on the immature side. So just be aware of that. Um, hate to call my cancers out, but that's what I'm seeing. There is unfinished business between the two of you. And I do feel like that has to do with this person having some toxic traits or something that's toxic in their life that they're not really addressing. At the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. This is underlying energy. And what this indicates to me is that there is worry, there is concern. But it, the other thing in this particular deck that I would be aware of is that you may have somebody, um, likely a female presence, who is stabbing you in the back. So be aware of that. There's somebody that is not being straight up, you know, right to you. They're, they're doing stuff behind your back, all right? They got a smile on their face and a knife in their hand. So you be very careful about that as well. All right, so let's clarify. Why is the Knight of Cups in the reverse? Yeah, King of Pentacles reversed and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So you shot this person down, it looks like. There's an ending here between you and this person. You're, you feel that the two of you are not on the same page, although you also feel this is a person who would be a perfect match to you. They're, they're very compatible. But, you know, I feel like there's just this energy here of, you know, you walking away from this person, maybe even to start something new. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Let's try that again. Spirit, why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Cancer? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Cancer? Four of Swords and the Strength card. Because you're healing. You're healing from this, this ending here between you and this person. Some of you, it took everything in you to walk away from this person. And I do feel like a lot of you may have a new relationship that's starting that could be brand new and just really stable. You may not be telling this person, uh, you know, that information. Um, let's see why the Queen of Pentacles is here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, you've released them. You've let them go. Four of Pentacles, King of Swords in the reverse. You may have released this person and let them go because you felt that they were dishonest. Um, I do feel like you were angry with this person when you let them go. And I think you're really focused. A lot of you are focused on your money. You're focused on your job. You're focused on your kids if you have kids. But I feel like your energy is um, higher than theirs. Um, vibrationally, and I do feel like you let this person go. Either they were dishonest with you or you were angry or both. So let's look, and, and I feel like you're going to tell this person, no, we're done here. We're done, done. So let's look at their energy. Why is the King of Pentacles here? I feel like this person really kind of put you through a lot. That's why we have the, the Nine of Swords. And I also feel like somebody else might have tried to insert themselves into this energy um, and sabotaged it in some way. We have the Hermit and we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. This person could have financial issues as well. And they may be trying to figure out what to do about that. They're very unhappy and they're trying to figure it out. But they're unhappy for sure about the way things have gone down between the two of you. However, I don't see them putting any work into the, the situation. There, there's details here in this situation that they have missed. And, you know, a lot of it has to do with a lack of commitment. 
So they're trying to figure it out. I don't see the two of you talking. I see, you know, that there's been a break here between the two of you. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? All right, we have the two of pentacles reversed and the devil in reverse. So they're working on themselves. They are working on themselves. And honestly, it's because of this relationship with you that has made them begin to work on themselves, to think about what, what took place here, what they need to do to improve, to get rid of this toxic energy that is present. I don't think they like the opinion that that you had of them and you you likely told them that they were toxic. I do see them having made a decision to release toxic energy. They're trying to release you, but they can't. And so that's where you see this hidden energy. They're still thinking about you. Like I said, some of them are dreaming about you. Some of them are, you know, having feelings and emotions, but they're just keeping it all to themselves. They're really not in balance right now, and I do see them working on themselves, which is a, a positive thing. It was your relationship with them or something that you said that pushed them into that energy of releasing this toxic energy and, and working on themselves. Why is the Seven of Cups? They are pretty confused. I will tell you that. There's a lot of confusion here. For some, they have bounced from one toxic energy to a net to the next. Yeah, again, the moon. This person keeps a lot of secrets. And the seven of, of cups. So this person isn't telling you about all the other options that they may have entertained. I'm hearing, yeah, I, I can't say that. I'm hearing um, that they've sampled. <laughs> Let's put it that way. They're not going to tell you everything. Because they are afraid that if they tell you everything, that it's it's going to be done, done. I feel like you, in your mind, it is done. However, they are still in your energy, and you're definitely in theirs. But there's deception here. There's, there's something they're hiding um, that they definitely don't want you to know about. So, and it has to do with options. Be careful about your friends. I'm going to tell you that because in the background, I saw that um, female figure that is sabotaging. Why is the Three of Cups in reverse? <laughs> Seven of, of uh, Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So what this person was offering was very little. It's not nearly what they could have offered. So they're offering you something less than what you, you believe you deserve. And I would have to agree. This person could offer more, but they have commitment issues. They're not willing to put the work into things. Now they're having to go back and look at what it was that they were offering you. They're not happy about, you know, you saying, I'm done, done here. And it looks like you called them out on deception as well. It does. It looks like this ended, this connection ended because of deception, because of somebody not being faithful or because of them being commitment phobic and not being upfront with you. I definitely see that this person had a lot more that they could have offered you, but they're not offering you much at all. So now they're, they're kind of back at the drawing board trying to figure it out. Let's look at what's affecting the connection. Yeah, it looks like you stood up to this this person. The sun in reverse. Queen of Wands. The magician reversed. And the four of cups. So you're ignoring this person. You've walked away. You're ignoring them. It's like you you feel that this could have been an epic love relationship, but you're <laughs> you've walked away from it because of the deception that's involved. I do feel that um, you guys took the initiative. They might be seeing you as manipulating, so they don't think this is over because they think you're manipulating the situation and that you still have emotions, feelings desires for them 
And you might. You might still have desire for them, but I feel like you're not going to act on it. You're not going to manifest it. You may be seeing them as manipulating as well, that all they want is sex. Um, and they're kind of, they're keeping things hidden. It's like you know that they're keeping things hidden. They know that they're keeping things hidden. And, that, and you're not going to allow this to manifest. This is not going to come about because of all the secrets. All the things that they're keeping, you know, secret. Um, I do see that a lot of you are moving towards a new relationship that could be very solid. But you may not be acknowledging it because you're still focused on the past. You're focused on what you're walking away from. So be careful with that energy. You still have some healing to do here. And I am seeing that there's a new love here for a lot of you that you may not even see, or you may not see it coming, but it could be a very strong, solid commitment. It's not going to manifest cancer if you keep focusing on your passions for this person. Now, again, I'm seeing that they have things that are hidden. They, they definitely are hiding things from you. It's, it's a very strong energy, and it's not even about whether they have feelings for you, because I think they do. It's There's something about options that they're keeping hidden. All right, let's look at the outcome. And you feel like they're sneaky as hell, uh, and I would have to agree. I would have to agree. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords. We have the chariot, and hold on, you had a card that went flying. And we have the six of wands. All right, so I do see you moving forward. I, I see you moving forward and in your power. The chariot is major arcana for, um, for cancer. So I do see that you're going to let this person know that you're moving forward. You're letting them go. I feel like you're going to be angry with them. Um, and I am seeing a lot of success in whatever it is you're moving towards, whether it's your financial, you know, security, or whether it's a new relationship. But it's contention upon you being able to release your past and, and heal, fully heal and release your past. So I do see you telling this person that. Now, be careful, though, because cancer, I do see you saying it in a rather smug manner kind of a childish manner, okay? So be careful with that. Now, in their energy, they're going to try to move forward, but they can't. They're they're thinking about you constantly. They don't want you to know that. They're trying to keep that, you know, hidden from you, but they feel that there's unfinished business between the two of you. In the meantime, they're having to re-examine their life, and it's because of this connection with you. Something you said or it could just be the actions or you or or no action you ignoring them is causing them to have to go back in and reanalyze things, rethink things, look at things, things that they don't want to face. Um such as manipulation, such as, you know, to other toxic things, secrets, hidden things. Um they're in a bit of confusion. I am going to say that. They definitely are in a bit of confusion. Because I feel like in the past, they offered you very little and you went for it. And now you're you're upping the ante and you're saying, mm -mm, no, that's not enough. That's not, that's not what we're doing here. And so they are a little bit confused why things are not working the way they used to work between the two of you. So I do feel that they're going through a bit of a... <laughs> They're going through a bit of depression, possibly. They're definitely feeling down. They're not letting you know this. They're hiding that. And they're also hiding something about options as well. As far as their energy, though, you're moving forward and you're going to be very successful. They're, they're obsessing. They're thinking about this. And whatever you said, or if it's you ignoring them or whatever happened here, it's really causing them to analyze their life. They're feeling a bit trapped in some dark energies, their own secrets, their own options, their own confusion. So they're feeling rather trapped. So bottom of the deck is the two of cups. That's soulmate energy. So you are dealing with a soulmate in, in this uh, interaction here. And I do feel this person is going to reach out to you again. 
it's in their mind this is not over they're basically saying you can move forward as much as you want but i'm you're still on my mind so i'm still going to reach out all right so i'm going to pull from the fortune cookies because why not right um, I love the fortune cookie deck. I use it myself um, for daily, like little daily readings. Let's see if there's any further messages or advice for you. Pulling for cancer. I am going to say you guys have really done a lot of work on yourself and you should be very proud of yourself for that. All right, so we have reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Remember, you have somebody in the background that's stabbing you in the back. Be careful there or, or will stab you in the back. Um, friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. And you have burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional. Try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Make sure you guys aren't, you know, pouring yourself so deeply into work that that's all you're doing. Um, and I, I feel like this is energy for this person that's in your energy. So for the cross watcher, we have opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action plus a, fam a special family reunion looks likely. And change. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You're restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what is coming your way. I do feel like that may be part of what they're keeping secret, too. They have other opportunities. They have changes coming up. They don't really want you to know about. So, all right. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you have resonated with this reading, Remember to help me break that algorithm because, like I said, the powers that be do not enjoy my particular sense of humor or my particular view on certain things in life. I have no regrets and I would not have changed anything. However, I am very shadow banned. So if you could hit that like button if this has resonated with you, it would help me break that algorithm. And in addition to that, if you haven't subscribed, I would be grateful if you do. So until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.